What's up guys, Ivan Carranza here, and today I just wanted to share the news with you that I am now officially a Dingwall artist. I've been playing these basses for over 10 years. I got my very first Dingwall bass when I was still in high school. It was a Dingwall ABZ5, and as a matter of fact, that was my first quote-unquote nice bass, and back then they were also quite a bit cheaper. Um, I remember I got it when I was still living in Peru, um, and my, my, my aunt brought it from Miami to Peru when I bought it, because you couldn't get them in South America at the time, so we had to fly to the base from Miami <laughs> to Lima, Peru, for me to get the base, and then I moved with it to Germany. Eventually I had to sell it due to a pinky tenonitis that I had, but then I got my Super J, which I used on many occasions, on many stages, and in 2020 I got my new Super P, which you probably have seen here on the channel, and that's currently my main gigging bass. I just used it during the entire summer touring with Dr. Crapula, and it's been performing amazing. So I'm extremely happy to be able to say that I'm now officially part of the Dingwall Artist family. And maybe you've seen this already in social media. I didn't get the chance to do a YouTube video, so I'm <laughs> doing it now. But let me tell you that there's something in the works behind the scenes, <clears throat> new base, um, which might be coming <laughs> somewhat... I don't know when, <laughs> I don't have the time frame yet, but we have something in the works which I'm really excited about. And I've mentioned this on a previous video um, that I'm working on a demo of my Super P because I haven't really done a proper demo of the bass yet. You've heard it on many videos probably, but I haven't really done a demo sample of how each pickup position sounds like and swapping between fingerstyles, pick and slapping. So this is still in the works. Um, I just have to wait for the last couple of shows of Dr. Crapula to end and then I can grab all my gear back from the back line because it's there with the rest of the band with all the equipment so I have to carry it back and forth every time. So next week most of the shows are gonna be over. <laughs> Uh, so I'm gonna have some time and my gear back to show you how the Super P sounds like. I just wanted to share the news with you and in case you haven't done so yet, I would definitely recommend you to give the bases a try. They're great bases. <laughs> They're bases that are not only for metal, although they really excel at that due to the scale length and the really fast response and clarity that allows you to get a really good distorted tone, but as you've seen me on my channel, I've been using them to play regular rock, funk, soul, R&B, and lately with Dr. Crapula, we've been playing rock, Latin rock, cumbia, um, some hip hop songs. So they're really capable of performing and performing really well in a lot of genres. So if you can give them a try, getting used to the fan frets is not a big deal. So I'm sure you're gonna like it. Again, thank you guys for watching the channel. I really appreciate the support and I think part of the fact, no, I don't think, I'm quite sure that part of the fact of me getting recognized as an artist by doing well is because of this channel and this channel wouldn't be possible without you. So thank you really for supporting this. I really appreciate it. And I hope the content that I make gives you some value. As always, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care. Mm -hmm.